Hello world! In this tutorial I want to show you some basic techniques for going up and down curbs. I will cover the step up, the hop up, the two foot jump up, along with the roll down and the step down. Please note that I'm not a qualified skate instructor, I'm just a regular guy who loves skating. These are just my own thoughts and ideas that I hope can help you out. Disclaimer out the way, let's get going. The step up is simply stepping up the kerb. We are moving one foot up onto the kerb, followed by the other foot. Start out standing parallel to the kerb with your weight evenly distributed. Start to lift the foot that is nearest the kerb. As you do this, most of your weight will be over the standing foot. Then shift your weight to the other side of your body and place this foot down on top of the kerb. Keeping your weight in this side of your body, you can then lift the other foot and then bring both feet together and your weight will then be evenly distributed again. So lift your foot, transfer your weight and then step up your other foot. It's actually easy to practice this with a little momentum. If you do not feel confident to bring both feet up straight away, you can at first just place one foot up, roll for a bit to get your balance and then place your second foot up. So step the foot up, roll a short while and then step the other foot up. Keep practicing this until you can step up all in one movement. If stepping up a full curb seems a little daunting to start with, then practice on something lower to gain your confidence. Next, start to approach the curb from different angles. It is important to be able to move your feet quickly so you don't catch your foot and trip. An advancement of the basic step up would be the hop up. Here you lift your first foot and then push off slightly on your standing foot into a small jump. This technique is good when you are approaching at speed and it means you are far less likely to catch your foot on the kerb. As before, practice this technique on a lower kerb first to get used to the timing. And when you are confident, try it on a normal kerb. With the two-footed jump, you are pushing off from both feet, ensuring you have enough height to clear the kerb. So as you approach, bend your knees, then spring upwards, lifting your feet over the kerb. As you land, Bend your knees again to absorb the jump. So bend, jump, land. As before, practice over a lower curb first to help get your timing. The roll down is simply rolling down the curb. Position one foot slightly in front of the other to give more stability as you roll the kerb. As you land off the kerb, bend your knee slightly to absorb the impact. You need some momentum when rolling a kerb. If you go too slow, you risk catching your wheels and tripping. It's very important when going down kerbs to look behind you to ensure it's safe to roll into the road. The step down is simply stepping down the kerb. We are moving one foot down the kerb, followed by the other foot. Start out standing parallel to the kerb with your weight evenly distributed. Start to lift the foot that is nearest the kerb. Most of your weight will be over the standing foot. Shift your weight to the other side of your body and place this foot down. Keeping your weight in this side of your body, you can then lift the other foot and then bring both feet together and your weight will be evenly distributed again. So lift your foot, transfer your weight, and then step down your other foot. As before, it's easier to practice this with a little momentum. 
If you do not feel confident to bring both feet down straight away, you can at first just place one foot down, roll for a bit to get your balance, and then place your second foot down. Keep practicing this until you can step down all in one movement. Now we have covered all the basic techniques, practice them together until you get the hang of them. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave me any questions and comments you have and I'll do my best to answer them as always. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so as it makes a huge difference. Take care and skate safe.